It is Radon Awareness Month, and it's more common in Colorado than you probably think. Joining us now to talk more about this is Nine Health expert Dr. Pyle Coley. Okay, first things first, what is radon? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's important to understand what it is and why it's dangerous. It's in all 50 states. It's a colorless, odorless gas, and it comes from the breakdown of uranium in the soil. Hmm. So it's a naturally occurring process, but what ends up happening is it comes through the little cracks in our house, through the windows, through the doors, enters the house, and then we end up inhaling it and trapping those little radioactive particles in our lungs where they sit and cause lung cancer, and which can happen many years later. Mm. So how do we know that we have radon in our home? I think it's scary when you're, you know, we're saying odorless, colorless, how do we detect that? Yeah, you have to test for it. And about oh. half of homes in Colorado have radon. In fact, we're the seventh highest state in the country for radon. Why? Uh, probably because we have a lot of rocks and stuff around, a lot okay. of soil in the okay. mountains. Mm -hmm. And since it comes from sort of breakdown of that, so it's really important to test. And I say anytime you're thinking about moving into a new home, whether it's leasing a home or whether it's buying a home, when you're selling your home, if you've never tested before, it's really, really important to test. And the way that we test is actually systematic. So you want to test at the worst possible place it could be. So you can imagine if it comes out of the soil, where would you have the highest exposure? basements, right? Mm -hmm. Or crawl mm -hmm. spaces. And so especially people who have finished basements are thinking of finishing a basement and putting an office or bedroom where you might spend many hours. You want to make sure you get it tested. Companies will test for you. You can also get a free radon test kit online. But the best way to test is to sort of put something there for many, many days because the exposure can vary over time. Collect how much radon is being emitted and then analyze it after that. I found when we were looking for a home a couple of years ago, a lot of homes have built in testing for radon, which is so interesting. I've never seen that before outside of Colorado. Yeah. Um, what are some other ways that radon may or may not be something we are exposed to outside of just our homes? You know, so it's a gas, so it can dissolve actually in liquids. And so if you have well water, for example, you could actually be exposed to radon through the water as well. And, you know, there's a new law that got passed here in Colorado last year that says it's mandatory now for landlords to disclose if there's radon. And it's mandatory for anyone selling a home to disclose to the buyer as well. What's not mandatory is mitigation, is actually trying to make it better, and it's not also mandatory to test. So if somebody just kind of closes their eyes and doesn't test, they can sort of legitimately sell a home to someone else. So it really behooves you to say, it's time for me to test. Also, if the landscape around your house has changed, the exposure to radon might also be different from when you tested a long time ago. So if you haven't tested recently, it's actually really important to do so. Because well Radon causes, you know, the, the number one cause of non-smoking related deaths, lung is, cancer, is wow. radon. So in non-smokers, it's the number one cause of death. And overall, it's the number two cause of lung cancer death. So imagine inhaling this for years and years. Our kids, our pets, our family members, everybody. We really got to take control of this. But so if we test, then we have the knowledge that it's there. But like, then what do you do? What do you do about it? You can get rid of it. And that's what's really empowering about this is, is you know, a lot of places have rad radon mitigation systems which is this little fan that you put into the basement or the crawl space that actually kind of sucks out the radon and then dispels it into the environment. So if you test and you're above the limit, and it's estimated, like I said, that about half homes in Colorado are above the limit deemed to be safe. Now, no amount of radon is safe, just to be clear, but there's some that's probably more likely to cause damage than others, but half of us are above that. So mm. unless you test, you're not going to know if you're one of those half or not. And then you can install this system. It, it costs about 1000 to $2,000. So it's on the expensive side, but it's certainly something that you should look into if you have significant exposure, especially if you smoke or have lung disease or have young kids yeah. or have other risk factors for cancer as well. Okay. Well, thanks for walking us through Radon. We appreciate you, Dr. Coley. And you can find more with Dr. Coley at 9news.com slash Dr. Coley.